What's up? Happy Thursday. Just wanted to get on here, do my nine day challenge. Uh, I was going to do two videos today and then post them saying that I forgot to post one yesterday, but that would be lying and I don't want to lie. <laughs> so I did miss yesterday, but I don't care. I'm going to do two today to make up. This is more for myself and than anything. But yeah, so 90 day challenge is for me and a lot of it happened when I was in bed and my wife, Allison, was listening to this girl about network marketing and her challenge. I don't know if it was for her team or for herself, but she challenged or she took the challenge to do 90 days uh, going live, recording, publishing, uh, just getting comfortable in, uh, in front of your uh, camera uh, audience or whatever. And uh, I overheard that. I don't know who it was or what she was talking about, but that kind of uh, got my attention. And I've been wanting to do a podcast. I've been wanting to do a YouTube, but life gets in the way in my schedule. There's many excuses I've been giving myself, which there's no reason for excuses. Our, our minds always play tricks. I mean, if you really want to do something, you'll do it. And so this is what I'm doing. And uh, I haven't put the videos on a YouTube yet, but I'm gonna try to do that soon. And then uh, you can translate those into podcasts. So that's kind of the end goal here for myself. Um, and a lot of this has also start uh, started with uh, listening to podcasts. I've been a podcast freak the past man I don't know three four months and I've been learning so much in fact it's kind of interesting but what was it yesterday or two days ago I was listening to and I don't have his name I should take notes so I can present you with the uh, information that I've been learning but he was saying uh, publish the more content you get out the more value you can provide for your uh, following the better uh, once or twice a week is good. Once a day is better. Twice a day is the best. And obviously everyone has lives and it's hard to do that twice a day content. But, uh, he was saying that he saw, well, I think he said two times or three times the growth in his, uh, following in both, uh, YouTube and Instagram when he went from twice a week to one, uh, once a day to twice a day. And he also saw a correlation with his business growth from his following on YouTube and Instagram based on publishing himself. And publishing meaning just getting in front of a camera, whether it's uh, Facebook Live, uh, Instagram TV, or IGTV, um, whether it's uh, YouTube, podcasts, vlogging, blogging, there's so many different ways you can publish yourself. But you're creating content, and there's been a lot of studies and people that I've been listening to on podcasts saying that the new marketing, the new way of marketing is video. Uh, people want to see your face, they want to see your uh, movements, they want to hear your tone. They want to relate with you. Uh, I've also heard a lot of people saying that the more raw, the footage, uncut, no filters, just being yourself, showing you, I mean, if you make a mistake, if you say something wrong, uh, the more raw, uncut, real you are, people are going to dig that. They're going to interact relate and understand that you're in, these influencers that are you know perfect they got the look they got the body they got the money the toys and they're telling you oh you follow me and you do this you know that's awesome and I think a lot of times I know myself I'm like oh I want that that's oh yeah I'm gonna do this and do that so I can get to where they're at but a lot of times from just recently from following and listening to these podcasts and people's stories 
from where they were and where they're at now, I've just related so much more. And in fact, it's given me more passion and saying, hey, I can do this. Um, for those of you who know me, I've been dabbling with uh, entrepreneur uh, adventures since I was probably five um, from uh, selling my uh, Halloween candy. <laughs> I had a uh, from there I went to like a, a little candy cart. My grandpa made me a little wooden cart and I was at the corner selling candy and I ended up buying bulk from, uh, oh, what's it called? I went blank, but uh, that's small. It's not like a Costco, but it, oh, anyways, it'll come to me once I'm done with this. Selling that and then, I mean, if you know me, I've dabbled in a lot of stuff. In fact, it's kind of a joke with my family. Like, so what are you doing now? Every time we get together, you seem to be doing something different. And for a while, I feel like my credibility has been shot. You know, it's nothing that people will take me serious because it's just another venture that Matt's doing. But I have to realize that I'm doing this for myself and I can't worry about what people think. And if I am consistent and even though that adventure started when I was five, give or take, and here I am now 38. That's a lot of time that has passed. And, you know, I take full responsibility for not being where I feel I could be, but I'm learning a lot and I've learned a lot. And I feel if I keep on moving forward, I will be where I want to be uh, with my health, with finances, uh, with my family, just overall everything. I just have to find something that motivates me, find my why, and do it for myself. And this is kind of funny, but uh, <laughs> my dad and I, or the Petri side of our family, we're into uh, writing down notes on sticky notes or my to-do lists and what I need to do. And the fulfillment of crossing something off <laughs> is... Uh, a good feeling so I've been doing that my to-do list and I have to accomplish at least three things on my to-do list each day to uh, have a successful day and there's a morning ritual and there's a lot of things that you know um, I've been trying to do and I to be honest I would have a good week a bad week you know a good week a bad week uh, there was a challenge from another podcast I was listening to with uh, Andy Fischella and uh, it was the 75 hard and it sounds so easy and honestly it could be easy for people many people and um, just trying to find the time I was doing well and and I kept on failing and I kept on pushing myself to do it to the T of how he had it set up um, I believe it was like drink a gallon of water read 10 pages of a, um, a non uh, non-fictional book it was do two work two workouts a day, 45 minutes a day, one indoors, one outdoors. Take a picture of yourself, post it every single day for 75 days. And uh, I think that was all of it. Uh, there might have been another thing in there, but it was good and I felt good. And a lot of times too with my schedule, I'll have to admit, I've been struggling with uh, energy drinks and finding energy. Uh, driving home after a late night and not getting any sleep i've been dozing off at the wheel in fact there was a night uh if you're familiar with the city of upland euclid which is a historical route and i dozed off to where i actually went over the curb into the dirt headed towards a tree and thank god i am a light sleeper and i truly believe an angel was with me and I responded fast enough and I missed the tree and man, I got shook up, shooken up. And I think it was because I'm trying not to do these energy drinks. And I know there's a lot of alternates that I could be doing. There's a lot of things that people probably could suggest for me, which I'm open to suggestions. I'm always been open-minded about things. Um, but yeah, that was just one of my, str my struggles that I've been doing is energy drinks, you know, and I've been eating fairly well for the most part. Um, it's just that sugar intake with those drinks, man. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I kind of wanted just to get on here to encourage you guys out there to uh, reach for your goals. And it's never too late. 
uh, I feel like there's a lot of potential out there. You know, nowadays with the internet, uh, there's really no excuse not to make money. And even though I'm not where I want to be, the potential's there. If I truly gave myself the credit to moving forward, to being successful, anyone out there can do it. Um, I just kind of want to jump here on here a little bit also to talk about uh, network marketing, um, which is, is accessible to anyone. You don't have to have a degree. You don't need to have a lot of money to put down a, like a franchise. Everyone's qualified. If you have 20 bucks, a lot of these companies you can get in for 20 bucks. You buy some product and you get in and all you got to do is just talk about it, refer people, go live. And I understand it's not for everyone and it's uncomfortable to put yourself out there. But uh, I've been doing a lot of research on uh, marketing, uh, funnel hacking, and I'm almost to the point where I'm going to launch my first funnel. And there's so many ways to make money online. Uh, Multi-level marketing is what my wife are my wife and I are in and I know we've been kind of uh, we haven't been given a hundred percent and I think we both will admit that uh, my wife is going through some health issues for those of you that know she's trying to get off benzos which man those from hell I'm telling you don't get on benzos they're worse if you read a, uh, I'm just look it up it's horrible the side effects and the withdrawal syndromes and it, it's just uh, and it affects the family you know and it's not my wife's fault you know this doctor prescribed this medication and now we're learning a lot more about it and the side effects about it so anyways that's a whole nother story but I feel like we both have so much more to give in this business of multi-level marketing uh, network marketing direct sales it's all the same thing um, another thing is affiliate marketing which is like network marketing it's just there's no levels there's just it's you selling someone else's product and you're getting a, a percentage of it um, if you're familiar with Clickbanks you can go on there you get an affiliate link and you just promote something a lot of these influencers are doing that with many products they have a hundred thousand million followers and they go wow this blender is amazing I recommend it click this link for a 10% discount and with a million followers, you get 1% of those people to buy that blender, and it, let's say you make 20 bucks, 100 bucks, I don't know. That's some good side money, and a lot of these people are doing it full time. Uh, with network marketing or multi-level marketing, more and more people are doing it, which is awesome. I see so many more people that I know on social media doing these uh, network marketing companies, which is great, and I think we should all encourage each other in these uh, journeys and support each other and buy the products they're good products um, I don't think it should be competition or my company's better than your company or my comp plans better than your comp plan I think if we can all team up this whole network marketing thing is booming I mean I remember when I first dabbled with my first uh, network marketing company I think I was in my 20s and I was just like, oh man, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be it. And from there, basically, <laughs> it's just everywhere. Um, I'm glad my wife have gotten into it. We both are doing different businesses and it's just, well, we're kind of doing them together. So, I mean, it's a family thing. And anyways, the potential's there. And I just kind of wanted to touch base on that. And I think that if you, know, if you wanted more information, reach out to me. Um, about any of those and what's a good market or a company and what to look for. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of running out of things to talk about, but that's kind of my, my story in that I just wanted to get on here and encourage everyone that shoot for the sky. <laughs> all right. Well, I just want to wish you guys all a happy Thursday. Uh, the weekend is coming up. Happy Friday tomorrow, TGIF, and uh, yeah, show me some support. Encourage me. Uh, I'm open to uh, criticism if it's going to help 
<laughs> I got some thick skin. I mean, for the most part, I think, tell me what I need to do, what I need not to do. What would you like to see? What would you like me to uh, talk about? Uh, eventually, I will find my topic, my voice, and go from there. I'll get more confidence in this whole publishing myself. So I think I'm on, man, four, five, six. It's got to be five or six. I don't know, somewhere around there. So 90 day challenge. Uh, I'm also been rowing too. I have a rowing machine that I'm doing and I'm trying to utilize the two. So it's kind of a 90 day challenge versus publishing myself and uh, rowing, uh, eat, eating better. Just, uh, I got so many goals. I got so many dreams and I have, uh, man, I have art projects that I've been wanting to do. Um, I have a hat design that I want to get out there and I have an app that I want to get out there. I have my network marketing business. I got so much, so little time and I, I need to, uh, focus in on one, get some money to do the next. And I try to dabble in too much at one time. So get laser focus and, uh, you will succeed. I would like to see all of you guys on the other side, other side, meaning, uh, the success side. Okay, now I'm not making sense and I'm mumbling and my head is... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna end it right here before I make this worse. Anyways, uh, peace. I don't have my daughter in here with me to say peace and I wish y'all a wonderful weekend. All right, out. <laughs>